hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you a very simple python script which will be able to delete all files in a directory with a specific extension so this will be a very useful script so in many a times you need to delete files with a certain extension attached to it so i will be showing you how to do this in simple python so i will create some files here let's suppose file.txt I will write some data into it. I will now create index.html file here. I will now create some data. I will create index2.html. I will create some data into it. So you will see some extension files are there. You can see app.py, file.txt, html. I will also paste some images here also. I will cut this image. This is a PNG image here you will see. So all these extension images are there you will see here. So now I will be deleting only the extension which is .html inside this directory, inside this parent directory. So this is our app.py file. So if you want to get all the source code regarding this tutorial, I have given the link in the video description. So this is the blog post I have written here. Step by step instruction is given to you. So Python 3 script to remove all files with specific extension in directory. So just go to the video description link to download all the source code. So now let me start it. First of all guys we will be importing the operating system module which is a built in module for Python. You need not have to install this module manually. So first of all we will import this. Now we will mention the directory. So here we will mention the directory here from which we need to delete files so this is the parent directory so we will declare a directory variable here so inside this we will say dot slash so basically this signifies that we are working in the parent directory then what we want to do is that we want to get all files which are present here inside this directory so to get this it is very simple we will say we will declare a variable here all underscore files so here we will use a method here which will be list directory list dir inside this we will pass the directory name here that's it and now we can print this simply by all files so now at this moment of time if you print it you will see if i run this file here simply go to command prompt and run python app.py so you will see this is a tuple which will print out it is called essentially an array but in python it is called as tuple you will see each entry inside a tuple ref refers to the file which is present app.py file.txt index html index to html and screenshot 734 png so after getting all the files what we need to do is that we need to loop through each and every file here we need to check for a specific extension which we will mention here which is dot html so here we will say we will check inside the loop so we will <coughs> make another variable here which will be files to be deleted so here what we would do is that we will run a simple for loop so inside square brackets we will say file for file in all files which is this and here we will check if file dot and there is a method inside this which is ends with so inside this method you will mention your extension here we will mention dot html that's it so basically this line is doing is it is checking each and every it is iterating through each and every file here and it is checking if the extension is mentioned here which is matches here dot html so basically it is iterating through first file which is app.py if it is matching the extension which is mentioned here dot html so it is not matching so it is not be stored inside this variable so only these third and the fourth file is matching here so this will be stored here inside this array 
So basically, if you just print out this information, which is files to be deleted, so you will see what I am talking about. If I print it now, so you will see now simply these two files are stored here, which needs to be deleted, which is index.html and index2.html. So now we have successfully looped through and we have successfully checked for extension, which is .html. And uh, you can also change the extension here if I only want to delete py file. So I will change this to .py and now you will see the extension will change here. Only app.py will be selected here. So this is valid for every extension .png. So you can change this for any extension. You can see screenshot png. <coughs> so now what we need to do is that after getting the file here. I will again change this to .html. So now we simply need to delete this. We need to delete the files which are present inside the tuple. So here we will once again use a for loop here which will be simply for files in files to be deleted simply. The first line we will get here, we need to get the path here of this file here, which is uh, index.html and index2.html. So to get the path here, get absolute path here, we will use a function which is there inside operating system module, which is simply, we will first of all make a variable path operating system dot path dot join. And here we will mention the directory name, which is the parent directory and then comma, then the file name, which is, sorry, this needs to be for file, sorry. And then we will concatenate the file here, that's it. So basically if you now print the path here, so basically it will print out the absolute path of the file, which is, you can see dot slash index.html, dot slash index2.html. And the next step is pretty simple. We need to actually delete this path from the system. So in order to delete this, there is a method here, which is uh, remove. If you check the video description, I have written this, which is sorry, remove. So this is a remove method, which is there inside operating system module. And we will actually pass the path here. That's it. So this will actually remove the files here from the system. So basically if I run this code here, python app.py. So you just want to see in the left hand side, these third and the fourth file will be deleted. So you will see the third and the fourth file is successfully deleted here, which is index.html and index2.html. And basically if I now change this extension to .png, and now you will see the image file will be deleted. You will see image file has been deleted. And now if I show you, if I store these files inside a different directory, let's suppose I move this file.txt into a uploads directory. So once again, if I create index.html. <coughs> some more files I create. So just to show you a very basic example, if the file is present in a different directory rather than it is present in the parent directory. So what you can do is that you can change the address here in the directory simply dot slash uploads. That's it. So this is a directory. Just mention the directory wherever you are storing your files and rest of the thing will remain constant. You will just check for that. Here I will only delete the file which have extension of dot txt. That's it text file. If I run this, you will see now that txt file will be deleted and uh, you can see how easy it is. So this script works uh, in every situation. And now let's suppose you want to, in many scenarios, what we need to do is that you need to mention multiple extensions. So for having multiple extensions, it is pretty much useful. So you can see this is a text file. And once again, I will press uh, just uh, 
move in image file as well so you will see this is the image file so inside our application now what we need to do is that we need to mention multiple extensions so what we can do is that instead of having one extension for having multiple we will pass here to tuple which is an array inside square brackets we will pass here multiple extensions dot png comma dot txt so you can men mention as many extensions as you like here i will be mentioning two extensions dot png and dot txt so now what we, it will man here all the files which are starting which are text files and image files with extension dot png and dot txt will be deleted if i run the run this file you will see that uh, it is saying that ends with first argument must be string or a tuple so I have passed a tuple. So what is the problem? Let me just see. Mm. Oh, sorry. This needs to take as a function. So this needs a parenthesis is required here. So you will see parenthesis is required. That's it. So now once again, if you run this, you will see file.txt and the image file with the PNG image file has been deleted. So this is the way guys uh, I have I hope that you like this video it's a very simple video in which I have shown you how to delete files in a directory with a specific extension in Python using the operating system module we haven't used any sort of third party module we have just used the operating system module to do this simple task and if you want to get all the source code you can go to the video description link to download all the source code please like the video subscribe the channel and I will be seeing you in the next video.